Guys, President Trump faces a Donald Trump will appear in a third indictment, guys. I I thought they I thought they just announced his second indictment, but now President Trump's former President Trump is gonna have a third indictment. Uh guys. Recorded in Washington, D.C. tomorrow. The former president indicted for his role in the January 6th riot. It's the third time he's been indicted for something in just a few months. Jeez, bro, they're coming after him hard, guys. Like, real hard, bro. Guys, did you, li did you enjoy the Trump's presidency? Let me in the co know in the comments below. CBS 2's Zania Maldonado joins us now live with a close look at the new developments. Zania. Well, Chris and Cindy, sources tell CBS News Donald Trump's legal team is now mapping out a new strategy to shift blame onto lawyers who were advising him at the time. Although legal experts say this indictment could be the most consequential of all. Yeah, is he For the former president. This is the one where like he, uh, like, uh, you know, kind of like an allegedly encourage them to um go in like riot here guys right then former president donald trump expected to make an appearance in a washington courtroom thursday after a federal grand jury voted to indict trump for his efforts to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election this is an aggressive move by special counsel jack smith not to paint trump as someone who was called into some decision by outside lawyers but trump as the mastermind of an operation to overturn an election and take american democracy to the brink the indictment Basically, it seems so, guys. Statement announced by special counsel Jack Smith lays out a sweeping set of allegations. Four charges based on three conspiracies allegedly hatched by Trump and aided by six others, including... Guys, they're, they're coming after him hard, bro. Conspiracy to defraud? Like, guys, as a president, I would not be doing... I would not be telling them to do that, guys. I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. Conspiracy to defraud... The United States by obstructing the function of the federal government. Conspiracy to obstruct the January 6th congressional proceeding where the election was. Guys, it's like some, in my opinion, like, I'm, like, certified and enough. Because I don't want to be like too biased here, but. Another conspiracy against the right to vote and to have your vote counted. It was fueled by lies. Lies by the defendant targeted at obstructing a bedrock function of the U.S. government, the nation's process of collecting, counting, and certifying the results of the presidential election. The indictment also says Trump exploited violence and chaos at the Capitol. As when rioters breached the Capitol, advisors urged... Guys, that was a, like, very scary day, bro. It was all over the news, bro. I was like, dang, bro. Uh, why, is it, why is this happening to the U.S., bro? It's wild. It's wild. Trump to issue. No, I, I, did, I did not enjoy that happening. Like the whole Washington getting stormed like that, bro. Like it's freaking like a revolution or like n not the coolest thing. Calming message he refused and it detailed how Vice President. Like he, 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 President he, Mike he, Pence he just lost like the elect. Like I, I don't know why it's there's such a big, like, uh, you know, it's just standard thing, bro. With had to flee after Trump trashed him in tweets. Former Vice President Pence tweeting out last night, today's indictment serves as an important reminder. Anyone who puts himself over the Constitution should never be president of the United States. Now, despite being charged in three cases, nothing has made a dent in his popularity, something he has bragged about in campaign speeches. These are ridiculous. Guys, are you guys going to vote for him in the next election? Let me know in the comments below. He says he's going to run for, for, for president even... <clears throat> Even at even if he gets uh, put in jail, he's going to still run for president, which I didn't know was possible. And all they're doing is hoping for massive election interference. That's all they want to do. And in the history of the country, no president or former president had ever been indicted in U.S. history prior to Trump's first indictment back in April. And now he has three guys. Three of all things, bro. Chris. All right, Zania, thank you. Again, this is the former president's third indictment. Does anyone know anyone know how these these uh indictments are gonna go on? Uh get 
get situated, guys. I man, to one of them here in New York, he faces more than 30 counts of falsifying business records. This case stems from allegations his lawyer Michael Cohen paid off an adult film star. Then there's the other federal case where prosecutors claim. 40 felony counts, what the heck? Trump took dozens of classified documents from the White House. And Trump could be indicted in yet another case, this one in the state of Georgia, also related to election interference. No indictment has been filed as of yet, but it could. Oh my gosh. Wait, even more, guys? America loves this man, top G. Anyone who doesn't want to be a gangster in office in 2023 needs help. Hello, Brooklyn. Biden distraction. We've had enough of him. We're tired of him. Now that he's indicted, please isolate him where he belongs. Don't mention him. Don't change a thing in Trump 2024. So the comments are mixed here as uh, any... Any, uh... Any, any comment section that's politically related, guys. Trump 2024, lock him up. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> this guy's a huge celebrity now, guys. Why is there a Wikipedia article linked here? Guys, I have never had that on my YouTube video. They're linking to January 6th capital attack. Okay, guys, that's our video. Peace out, everyone. Thank you for watching. <clears throat> yeah, I'll see you guys next one. Later, guys.